changing your needle on any sewing machine you own is key. Do you know a needle makes up 50% of your seam? It does. So if you don't have the right needle in, or if you haven't changed it lately, you might be experiencing some not so great situations with your sewing machine. So if you're skipping stitches, that is one thing to change. If you're even hearing the, the needle like punch through your fabric, it probably needs to be changed. And you you also have different sizes of needles, some thick ones, some thinner ones, and different kinds for different fabrics. So I'm gonna put a little link in this top right corner that will link over to our needle videos where you can learn lots of information on needles. They're short, they're sweet, and depending on what fabric you're working on, that is key. Now, a couple things about changing a needle. So number one, I'm gonna just unthread this particular needle. You can lower down the presser foot. That might give you a little bit more room to get your hands in. Next, you also also have this multi-purpose tool which comes with this machine but did you notice there's a hole in it so you can actually slide that up the needle and it will catch it when it actually is loosened and wants to drop out now do you notice I have a piece of fabric under my foot that's so if I was to loosen it and it drops it won't drop into my machine just a quick little save yourself that hassle so when you do come over you've got two screwdriver options you get the long one and you have a short one, so whichever one works best for you. But let me talk about these screwdrivers. No problem getting it loosened, but when you do go back and tighten it after you put the new needle in, that's what we need to make sure that you're not over tightening it. This tool can also help make sure you get it as high as it will go. Now, how do you know if it's as high as it needs to be? Let me show you. But, but while I'm tightening this, I want you to look. I'm just tightening it a little bit. Just tighten it enough so it doesn't wiggle loose, but don't over tighten it that you start to make this not want to hold the needle any longer. Now, I mentioned about how do you know if your needle is in the highest position? Make sure you toggle through with the needle up, needle down button, and make sure your needle is, or the mechanism is at the highest position. Next, if you use your needle threader to ch thread your needle, you'll know if your needle is not high enough because that eye and the threader will not line up together. The eye would be lower and the header would be above it. So that is one way, you know, I know some people say, oh, I never use my needle threader, but you know, it's a way to check and double check that you have put the needle in all the way correctly. If it's too low, it's gonna hit things down in the bobbin area, and that leads to other problems. So if you've done that, just make sure that those little tips that I've given you are things that you can do going forward.